Alright, hello, my name is Author and welcome to a post episode reaction for you guys. Um, okay, so today we are doing uh, American Gods uh, Season 1, Episode 4, Get Gone. Uh, and obviously entailing the uh, bug spray uh, that Laura tried to use to uh, kill herself so that was the big uh, whoa moment for me because I didn't know she was that type of person because you know she seemed um, to be emotionally alright uh, I think it's because you know she, she knew that she couldn't uh, you know physically do the shuffling and uh, it's always something to be said when some somebody takes away something from you that you really love to do uh, for example shuffling cards you know even as easy as that sounds kind of you know it it's something that holds them to the job because you know maybe they really love it to do that um, but yeah you know casinos have the rules and um, more more power is uh, to the machines nowadays which are more algorithmic and more uh, random so anyway um, alright so this episode I would say is very much more of a filler episode filler as in not like nothing going on it's more of not really the plot moving on because uh, we return to Laura saying hello puppy at the end again okay so the one of the big things for me is uh, that I found out is that she was saying puppy as in like um, you know uh, small dog um, but I heard is as puppy you know like uh, lat, uh, you know uh, other southern americans uh spanish people say father or you know uh that type of thing so i was obviously wrong and i apologize for that uh because i didn't really know how she said it because her intonation is quite weird when it comes to that specific word so it's just strange for me anyway um okay so the next thing that happened is uh she dies of course we really know that she dies but she goes to see Jekyll, which is Anubis, uh, and he's just the end all, uh, because, you know, it doesn't matter what religion you are, it doesn't matter if, you know, um, I guess it's just like, uh, Sharon, uh, the gatekeeper, sort of, in, you know, Percy Jackson books and all of that, uh, so I, I most likely will, uh, acquaint him with, uh, the Grim Reaper, so he is the Grim Reaper, in the series uh and uh he's pretty good for a grim reaper i i have to say um and uh i love just his uh way of dealing with people and you know these type of people who don't really believe in the afterlife and he's like no bro you should and you know you are already here like i don't understand why you don't still don't believe in it you know and because you believe in it you deserve to be in nothing so that's what he says to Laura and Laura says fuck you and returns to the moral world because of the lucky coin so I don't know where the lucky coin went to my friend asked me where did it go and I said may most likely in her life force now so that is something that is generating her life force because you know uh, as you remember in the last episode we didn't see where it went like we all only saw it like burn through the coffin so that's something interesting that uh, happened um all right uh the next thing that happens is uh we learn more about the relationship between shadow and laura which is quite interesting to see them interact off of each other and i think for her it was more for the sex like no offense but 
I definitely think it was more for the sex and maybe you know she sort of grew into the relationship and maybe she sort of sees okay maybe I could be with this guy but then she's like oh maybe we need something bigger and that's why she gave him the plan to rob the casino where she said it was perfect plan and what happened he got caught so I kind of expected that um, and sorry to say but you know what Laura is just a horror for me like I, I'm, I'm really sorry to say that but like she said she wanted to wait for Shadow but she didn't and uh, you know what happened she she he, she she fucked the uh, she fucked the other guy the Robbie guy who is the husband of Audrey and I was like why though like so that's why it cemented for me more of the reason that I believe she didn't really love uh, Shadow in the way he loved her so uh, which is why I said it's more of the sexual relationship type of deal not the love type of deal so that's something that went on in this episode and we, we finally get the closure of how she you know how she cheated on him and you know it seemed to be an innocent thing the first time around because you know Robbie was there when you know her cat died and her pet died and all of that but then you know it burns out of control like anything in life would um, I, I'm just gonna say this like the perfect reaction for me is of course Laura you know she uh, no sorry Audrey uh, the best friend of Laura and she comes in and she's like oh what the fuck are you you know that kind of deal uh, and uh, they talk about you know whatever that they couldn't really hash out when Laura was still alive and you know Laura is pretty much very understanding because you know she's like yeah I fucked up and I know that this is this isn't how I wanted you to you know find out about this and you know we and you know I didn't intend for this to happen I was just so alone blah 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 this and that so yeah this episode is more on the relationship between uh, Shadow and her and uh, not to say anything about that but um, I will say this I will say that uh, her returning to the world and finding her light of the li uh, light of her world seems very not to say sudden, but just something that I think she never got to complete in the moral world. Then is why I feel that uh, Jekyll let her stay in this world because he knew that maybe she didn't complete something in her life to warrant her going back into the moral world. So that's something interesting for me to watch Jekyll do that because uh, in many of the lores you know the the Grim Reaper wouldn't let you stay in the moral world unless you have a like a legitimate reason to stay in the moral world so uh, that's something interesting to to look at and to peruse through so uh, yeah um, so that's pretty much it. The ending, as I said, is a uh, flashback to the uh, the past episode, and because she is sort of decaying, that's why there's more uh, flies attracted to her. But I will also say that it could be a reflection on how her like soul could be like rotting on the inside or whatever. But that's a deeper read for me. Uh, that's just a personal opinion but yeah uh, that's about it uh, let me go let me know what you guys thought about this episode please comment down below and let me know if you liked it if you liked this episode or if you didn't like this episode uh, please discuss below uh, debate you know whatever uh, and if you like this video please leave a like and uh, subscribe I'll see you next time see you then